Hey, hey everybody and welcome back. So we are doing our second part of our budget setup. So we have already done most of it. We are going to be doing just our paycheck breakdown so I can go into details on how we use this for our budget. So we've already got our June budget set up. So we're going to use this side here and do our paycheck breakdown. So let's go ahead and get that started. Leave here. Okay. All right. So in the month of June, there are four Fridays, which means we will be paid four times in the month. So we are using our paycheck one through four here. And we're going to plan out our budget each week that we get paid. Okay. All right, so first up, we're going to put in our income. So there are, we write down three sources of incomes. First up, we have James, his full-time job. We budgeted, we did $750 times four for how many times he's going to get paid and budget about $3,000 for this month. And then for myself, I hope to bring in... 300 between YouTube, Etsy, and Herbalife. Then we have other for anything that's extra comes in. Um, we sell anything, different things like that that was unexpected. We'll go under other. Okay. Alright, so there's that one. There's This one here, kind of break it up. All right, now this next strip that we lay down is for all of our expenses. Now on this sheet here, I list all of our expenses straight down and try to get it from our highest expense down to our lower expenses. And then at the bottom, you'll see the ones that are as important to stuff, um, but we would like to stuff them. So let's go ahead and get started. So we have two vehicles that we pay on, and we budget $9.20 for those. Our rent is $600. Groceries. Is at $500. Gas. I'm going to explain gas in a second. We have utilities, which is our power and water. We budget $300. We have Allstate, which is our insurance. And this one actually went up, so it's $292. We have AT&T. And that's our phone and internet at $254. Storage at 64. Student loans 60. And pest control at 33. Okay, so right now. These numbers here added together only leaves $277 that we could have put in gas. Now, um, student loans is still not technically due until August, so I could take the 60 and add it to gas, but we're gonna leave it like it is for now. I'm really hoping to have at least 300, if not more, in our gas budget. 400 seems to be where we hit at on average here lately, so. We'll see what we can do there. Um, but if anything, I can always move student loans money into gas and it'd be done for that. And then we have miscellaneous, which we don't have anything to put in it. We have our spending. This will be for me and James, whatever we end the month with. We split evenly. We have sinking funds. 
Nothing. Savings. Debt. And then the cushion. Okay. So those are the other categories that we would like to stuff if we have the um, extra money at the end. But if we don't, we will be fine with what's there. Okay. So I'm going to lay this down here. There we go. And then our total strip. Okay. So only thing left to do, our paycheck budget isn't that long, but I just want to make sure I explain things um, for y'all. Okay, so the total budgeted amount is $3,300. This number here, we cannot go over when we budget out our amounts here, which is what we did. So this totals us at $3,300. So, we always hope for a little extra income. That way we'd be able to add more, get some of these other categories a little bit. But we work with what we have for our budget. Um, but this will cover all of our bills for the month of July, which is always, 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 always fabulous. Um, but let me flip through. I'm going to show you all the full layout for the month of June and that we are ready to go. So we have our monthly view here. I will track all of our bills, all of our cash envelope spending, um, and then lay down no spends on days that we didn't spend money from those. We do have Father's Day this month, so that's awesome. We have our debt tracker here. I gotta fill in our ending numbers, and then a transaction log to keep track of all of our pay debt payments, our normal payments that we pay towards our debt stuff. Then we have the paycheck breakdown that I just set up with y'all. Our June budget set up and ready to go. This income is what's here. That'll cover July. This here in the bottom was all covered in May to cover bills for June. And that is exactly how much we have in each of those categories. We have our weekly che check-in and sinking the transaction log ready to go. Sinking funds all ready to go to start the new month. Keep track of anything that we spend. Hopefully we don't spend quite as much in sinking funds this month and we more add to them, but we shall see. But that is everything for our June budget setup. I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Push that post notification if you want to be notified about any of my videos going live. And I can't wait to catch y'all in my next video. Bye-bye now.